This video demonstrates a simple Arduino-based MP3 player using the DF Player Mini module. The main specifications of the DF Player Mini are it supports both MP3 and WMV audio codecs. The filing system on the SD card can either be FAT16 or FAT32 and it can handle up to 32 gigabytes of micro SD. On the SD card we can have up to 100 folders and each folder can have up to 255 audio files. The DF Player Mini supports sampling rates between 8 kHz to 48 kHz. And the player can give us a 30 level volume control and a 6 level equalizer control. The player also has a built in 3 watt amplifier which means that we can connect an external speaker directly to the module. A circuit diagram of the MP3 player is shown here. We have the DF Player Mini module connected to the Arduino using serial connections. And we have an external speaker connected directly to the module. We also have five push buttons connected to the Arduino which are used to control the operation of the player. This is the next button when pressed uh, the next uh, audio file will be played and this is the previous button when pressed the previous audio file will be played. This is the pause button when pressed the audio file will be paused and the LED indicator will be on. We also have two push buttons here which are used to control the volume of the audio file. And now for a quick demonstration. This video presents a simple Arduino based FM radio receiver using the TEA. In this video, the TM1638 module is programmed to display a stopwatch. This video presents a simple Arduino based FM radio receiver using the TEA5767 module. Digital information of each received FM station is also displayed on LCD screen. In this video, the TM1638 module is programmed to display a stopwatch with ticking sound. We need to include this library so that we can communicate with the DF player module, which uses this library to interact serially with the module. Next we declare this object to the library software serial so that we define digital uh, pin 10 of the Arduino as the receiver pin connected to the transmitter pin of the module and uh, digital pin D11 of the Arduino as the transmitter pin connected to the receiver pin of the module. We also declare this object to this library so that we can use the object to directly interact with the MP3 module. Inside the setup function we initialize digital pins D10 and D11 of the Arduino as serial lines with baud rate of 9600 and here we are initializing the object player to the serial lines D10 and D11. Inside the loop function we continuously check the status of the push buttons. So for example if the volume up button is pressed then this function will be executed to increase the volume and if the volume down button is pressed then this function will be executed to decrease the volume. If we press the next button the then the next track will be played and if we press the previous button then the previous track will be played. While the audio track is playing when we press the pause button this if statement will be executed and the blue LED will be turned on and the program will go into this indefinite while loop where the audio of the track will be paused until we press the button again to resume the playback and the blue LED will be turned off. In a future video more functionalities will be added to the MP3 player. Thank you for watching.